Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. We are inside the Iron Farm main storage area, and we're going to be working on a cactus farm today. All right, let's get started. Well, I had wanted to do something a little different this time, but as we get into today's project, I will explain why we have to be doing something here at the iron farm instead of what I had originally planned. And uh, so let's give a little bit of a backstory here. You know, once we have put in all of these silos here, the, the entire point of these is to give me a little bit of a to-do list. So we've gotten all the iron ingots, We've got storage for that, and you can hear that it is full. And we've also got iron block crafting, so that's done. Poppy storage, we get that as a matter of fact of being in here in the uh, main iron farm itself. And then last episode, we worked on getting ender pearls over from the end. So we've got kind of a to-do list, and well, we'll get to these in due time, but figured one of the easiest farms to really work on is a cactus farm so we're going to be working on this section today let's go take a look at the site that I've planned so with all of these farms what we're going to be doing is building castle pieces around them and uh, so the iron farm itself is going to be a castle keep and then we'll figure out something for the the uh, what is it the cactus farm and the various other farms but I'm gonna try and invite other hyper miners in to build designs around them and put their own touch their own style onto buildings here at hypermine spawn and uh, to that end we've had the first the first hyper miner to come in and do a little bit of a styling you ready ta-da look at this fountain this thing is amazing Hector came over and graciously agreed to put a fountain over and around the main spawn point. So that is now decorated. We've got a, this is something that you need in a castle town. You need a little fountain kind of marking the center of things. And so he put his own styling on it. He used some, some touches from the overall design that we're going to be putting namely spruce and the various stone textures. And he also incorporated some prismarine. So that is pretty cool. So uh, so big thank you to Hector. And if you would like to see his video, feel free to take a look in the description box below. You can catch a link for that. So do go check that out. You can see the building process and kind of get an idea of his thought process behind it. Anyway, the site for today is right here. I've already prepared it. And we've got, so it's a 13 by 13 square. We're gonna be putting water streams down here, but what we need to do is grab the contents of this chest right here. I'm going to do that and that. You know what, we might need one chest out just for good measure in case we get inventory clog. We shouldn't because I've already taken care of clearing out the site. That's when you start getting inventory clog is when you're clearing out but, but there we go. So what we're going to do is go in. Uh, let's grab a scaffolding block. We'll put the bed away. Oh, by the way, I'm on with Twinkles, who is, she's been working on a castle at her base. And then I'm also on with my camera account, who is loading up the witch farm because we got kind of low on those supplies. I've been making some decent money over at the witch farm shop not that i really need it but hey people are paying and so i'll take it you know all right next order of business what we're going to do here is i probably should have gone from a different corner let's come from this corner okay we're gonna go down one let's see we're gonna have water on that level and that level so I think we should probably go right here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is use some stone brick slabs and build kind of our platform for where these cactus are going to be going. So we'll do this. We're going to alternate 
Uh, no, I didn't want you there, despite the fact that I, I said go on the top side, you went on the bottom side. You gotta love that. I love that feature. It's not like they've fixed that in 1.10. And I think we're going to go there. So we're going to leave a gap of two around the edge. And then once we get to, we'll do one level together. Uh, that one I did place on purpose. That was, that was my fault. Lost a slab. That's fine. We've got plenty of stone and, and smooth stone and stone brick where that came from. So no problem losing a few resources here and there. All right. So what we're going to do is build one of these layers. In fact, I'm just going to build, um, we'll just build this one and then I'll copy it a little, a little later. Um, I'll copy it off camera, but I want to give you kind of the idea of what we're doing here. And this is something, I, I watched the Zoom Avoid Myth Busting, Minecraft Myth Busting Cactus Farm Edition. And uh, he went into great detail about how to do cactus farms. What we need to do is put, uh, maybe grab some dirt for scaffolding. That's always good. We'll go up like this, one more. And then what we'll do is grab one of these fences. We're gonna put fence right here. And, oh, oh stuck, stuck, there we go. And I probably should have move the sand out and we're going to go over a little bit more to right here and put another fence okay so what's going to happen is when these cactus grow they are going to drop uh, drop the cactus as an item down below we'll have some water streams all filtering to that hole right there and then we can take that on to our our main item storage but I've got some copy paste to do. It's pretty much just going to be that. I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe two, three layers, something like that. We don't need a large amount of cactus, but there aren't any major cactus farms on the server. And I find myself in need of some green dye for a future project. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, so a couple layers, we'll get that done off camera and I'll bring you back once that is good to go. This is going to be the last layer that I add here. So only three layers. So it's not, not, you know, OP or anything, but I realized that as I was doing this, I had forgotten to tell you about why we're doing this instead of some, something else, some other project elsewhere on the server. Well, uh, as, as I may have mentioned, I'm not sure if I have, but in real life, I am in the process of building a fence around my backyard. Now that is, it's a rather large fence. It's 400 linear feet. So that's usually how fences are measured. Um, it's not square feet. Uh, it's going to be a six foot privacy fence. It's got a bit of a fancy design put into it and I'm building it myself. And it's not my day job normally to do that, but I do enjoy a little bit of carpentry and woodworking here and there. So um, it has been a fun, uh, a fun, what's the word, kind of respite from the abstract world of computer programming. And currently, I, I've taken this week off of work in order to focus on that particular project. And so, um, but because I am focusing this week on that project, I have been all day long outside working on that project. So um, so pretty much sun up to sundown, I have been building the fence. Well, we had some thunderstorms come through, which kind of threw off the overall plan, but uh, overall I've, I've been able to get a decent amount done. So it's been, it's been, it's been a lot of work, but very fun overall. And so, but because of the amount of work involved, it means that I have not had as much time to think about setting up projects and various things and time to record. I haven't had that. So, um, so that's something else to keep in mind. And I had some other plans in mind for, for today, but okay, so that was fine. 
Well, let's see, we need that one, we don't need that one. Um, and uh, because because I had some other other ideas, but we're not able to get to them, we'll just have to wait. Uh, one of them does involve some green dye, but um, you know, so we can do a little bit of prep towards that with this farm. But anyway, instead of what I had originally planned, we will be doing this. And you know, I was able to set this up fairly quickly. And so you can kind of see the building process as well. And if you have any questions, I hope I've managed to answer them as much as possible. What we're doing here is, um, yeah, we need one right there. So we, we don't need a fence post in between this set because these cactus are going to be hit by this one. So uh, you don't you don't need them beside every cactus. Uh, it's just a waste of materials. But you also don't need them there in the middle either. And the reason you want to get rid of those is because the cactus, when they drop as items, might fall on the fence and not down into the water stream. And we definitely want them in our water stream. So. Uh, so that's why we're doing that. Uh, we need to add a couple more cactus right here. And here, here, here. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Okay, so that should be good. And you can hear the cactus growing. It makes that same, um, the same sound when you place it. It makes that same sound when it breaks. So you can hear it and we're definitely getting some more cactus down in the farm. Now I'm not going to cover this up in this episode. We're going to leave this wide open so that we can offer it to a fellow hyperminer to come in and do a little castle design. So I'm going to start putting a bulletin board up, uh, I don't know, maybe near spawn or something and then people can come take those but I will let everyone know in discord as well so the next order of business is to make this uh, this water stream here we've got signs we need to keep it from going into here we'll do that and then get our couple of buckets of water and we'll do this trick like so as long as you've got two water sources beside any block then it should form a water source and so you can keep refilling your bucket. So we'll do this and this. Let's go back and take care of that one. That was not the most efficient, but hey, no problem. Let's do that. Fill up both our buckets and we'll carry this all the way around. Did I get that one new? Okay. And there we go. Next, what we need to do is put the corner pieces together. The reason I didn't do that down here is because then it would form one giant lake, and we definitely don't want a lake. We want all the water flowing to this central point right here, and that's where we're going to take it to our central item storage. So let's tear out the dirt here. And you may be wondering, all right, so uh, now that we've got that, we need to actually carry it to the item storage. Well, I've done a little bit of prep work already. Let's, let's see. We can come down here. And we should be able to get cactus here soon. Uh, let's see. Last time we checked, we had 22. That's going to be 23. So what we're going to do is just just watch for the cactus farm to start producing down into that uh, item item filter area and this carries to the same drop spot that the iron block crafting area goes to and the spawn uh, over what what is the, the end so so that all connects together into that one drop shoot and there we go. So we've got pipes coming all which way, and we're going to be doing that on the rest of these farms as well. Let's see, we got... It might take a while for that one to get through. Hopefully we don't have issues like we did. Okay, there's, there's the cactus. So that's the one we sent through. So it's got to go up to the top there. 
run around an item stream or the water stream there, drop, and then come around the back of the wall here. So we should be getting it here soon. And we'll just uh, fill the airwaves a little bit and give it some time to speed on through that whole, whole shebang. Let's see. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. We'll see if it gets stuck. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. We went through this already. There we go. Okay, so we've got 23. So that one that I threw into the water stream. There we go. That came in. We'll see if we keep getting some cactus going. Let's go back and check our progress, and I'll meet you. Uh, I'm going to meet you up there, all right? All right, I figure it's probably time to clean up our mess here. We'll leave it as we found it, or better. I think we just had... Just had one drop. So anyway, it's not the most efficient. Well, it's actually a pretty efficient design, but we're not going over the top with the number of cactus plants that we have. I think this will be sufficient. We'll get a decent amount. And, you know, if people are here around spawn, we should get plant growth. And so we'll continue to get cactus going as, uh, as we're working around the area. And then that should get me ready to go for any future projects that I need with cactus green. But what we need to do now is see if anything has dropped into the storage. So let's go take a look. Okay, well, we got a couple. I guess we'll have to stick here for a little while. If it ends up not being enough, then I'll just add some more layers before I put out the call for you know, somebody else to come in and decorate. But that's going to be it for today. I'm not sure how long this episode managed to run, but as I explained, we've got IRL projects that are taking precedence over uh, these abstract ones here in video games and stuff. So um, I will be sharing bits and pieces of the IRL fence build and uh, you can watch watch my Twitter feed for uh, pictures of that if you so desire. That's going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, do leave a like. It helps me out. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.